So next would be operational overhead and really kind of what we call the silent killers. So increased management and orchestration complexity, as we mentioned earlier, is driving up staffing costs. In other words, we don't anticipate a lot of the complexity that's going to be coming into play and the ability to deal with middleware, the ability to deal with operations across different environments, the ability to deal with, uh, you know, different forms of observability that are going to be needed, different forms of compliance. And this is kind of core to where the cost of hybrid cloud are really going beyond some of the expectations because they didn't see this coming. In other words, they thought this is going to be a fairly easy integration exercise, something that many other people had done. The public cloud providers told them that it's something that's going to be doable and it's going to ultimately save them money. And then they realized they have to hire all these specialized talents, these consultants, uh, you know, data sovereignty experts, things like that. They didn't anticipate they would have to hire and suddenly the costs go out of control. So the need for specialized skills ultimately is core to this to manage heterogeneous hybrid cloud environments. Uh, middleware, compliance systems, you know, cross-platform observability, those are expensive people and expensive tools. And so they're going to cost you a pretty penny. And, and ultimately, many enterprises don't see this cost coming, and they end up spending too much money. Debugging and troubleshooting across disparate systems consume valuable resources and time. Things are always going to go wrong. We have to figure out BCDR. We have to figure out cross-platform uh, observability, integration, you know, things like that. Ultimately, when they go wrong, we have to figure out how to debug and troubleshoot them to solve some of those issues. And we have to have lots of smart people around to really go off and do that. And I think in many cases, we're not anticipating uh, what, those, what the cost of those resources is going to be. So we have to do some recalibration in terms of uh, uh, what we think things are going to cost versus what they actually cost. Uh, so strategic recalibration is going to be you know, core to this. 